once we have watched step number two video we are very much aware that now it's time that we should start coding now as you are able to see over here there are two players player number one and player number two let me switch my screen in order to see first they are coding for player number one and the instructions that they have used is move turn 15 degrees and turn 15 degrees all these three instructions are present in the motion block so what i will do i will select the motion block the first instruction that i have selected is move as per the then turn 15 degrees and then turn 15 degrees so as per the video our skeleton for the entire thing is ready but now let us see what is there in the video more Now, as you are able to see in the video, now they have made use of the event block. In the event block, generally we make use of when green flag is clicked. But this time they are making use of when key is pressed. So, let's see how this particular instructions will look like. Go in events block. First, I am just moving when. Now, when up arrow is pressed and press up arrow and see how it is working yes player number one is working fine then it is right arrow over here i think it should be left arrow and over here it should be right arrow now let's see yes it's working very much fine Now let's move ahead and see what is there in the video now. I'm just fast forwarding this particular thing in order to see whether it is correct or not. Now as you are able to see over here. Now as you have seen in this particular video they have made use of a when space bar or when up left right arrow is clicked they have made use of movement block and they have made use of the turn degrees the angle that can be given any ways the, uh, the number of angles that is 15 degrees can be changed and we can give any number of angles over there so we will be coding the same thing now and we have already coded this particular part for player number one 